Hi guys, Light here. In today's video, we're gonna check out iOS 14.3 Beta 3 on the iPhone SE. So this update does focus on performance improvements, but I would like to go over some of the cool features in iOS 14.3 that weren't mentioned in our last video, starting with app clip code scanning. So if you're not familiar with app clips, app clips is a nice way for us to discover new apps, whether we're browsing the web, receiving messages, navigating, or even interacting with NFC tags, and even scanning QR codes. So previously on iOS 14.2, if you do try to scan an app clip code, it does not interact with it. But now on iOS 14.3, if you do try to scan an app clip code, it should now be able to scan and interact with the code and even give you a preview of an application if there is one available. So if you want to try it out for yourself, here is a sample of an app clip code for you to try out. Now moving on to the next feature in the weather app, in areas such as in the US, UK, Germany, India, and Mexico comes support for air quality information. So right now as you can see, I have no available air information right here. Now if we go ahead and add a supported location such as the one in the UK, which will go with London, if we do add that, as you can see, if we open it up, and if we go ahead and scroll down, we will see here air quality information. Right now, we do see here the air pollution level. And right now, as you can see in Taipei, Taiwan, there is none available. So if we go back to London, there is one available. Now let's go ahead and add another location. So let's go for Cupertino, which is in the United States. And as you can see, we already get the nice preview of the information right here. And let's go ahead and add that and open it. As you can see, we have here's the nice air quality information from Brizometer. Also, if you are a developer, this includes several bug fixes such as this one available in Business Chat, and this one for SK Ad Network, and this one for Swift UI. Now running a performance test on the iPhone SE, first using Geekbench, we do get a score of 1325 for a single core and 2365 for multi-core. We're comparing that to the previous beta, which is beta 2, we got the score of 1321 for a single core and 2114 for multi-core. Running another performance test using Antutu Benchmark, we do get a score of 381,192 for the iPhone SE. We're comparing that to the previous beta. We got the score of 268,044 for the iPhone SE. Also, checking out the build number that we have available, looks like we're already in the A phase of the builds. That means we're only a couple of builds away to get the new features of iOS 14.3 available on the iPhone SE. How about you guys? Which update are you looking forward to have now? Let us know in the comment box below. And as always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.